For the last nine years, in between drawing her lovely mouse designs, Ellen Jarecki has been rehabilitating all different types of animals. Frizzy, the hairless rat. At two weeks old, Frizzy was starving to death, so Ellen took her in and began hand feeding her every three hours around the clock. Since most animals do not survive when they are fed cow's milk, Frizzy is given a special formula which works well for baby rats. Also, Frizzy's formula is warmed up before each feeding. If the formula is fed too quickly, a baby animal can easily inhale the liquid and later die from pneumonia. Ellen normally uses syringes with smaller rubber nipples to administer the formula. However, in this case, she's using a very fine-tipped plastic cannula, which produces smaller droplets of formula. This is to help ensure that the baby rat does not receive too much milk at one time. Baby animals cannot regulate their own body temperatures and must be given supplemental heat in order for them to stay warm. You can see that Frizzy is gently wrapped in polar fleece. Baby animals can chill very quickly and the cloth keeps the baby warm and gives her a feeling of security while she's feeding. When she's finished with her meal, she's placed in a warm bin filled with even more soft polar fleece. Here is Frizzy, the hairless rat, after she's grown a bit. Although Frizzy appears to be completely hairless, she actually has very short fur that feels like velvet or peach fuzz. Now that she's approximately three and a half weeks old, Frizzy's beginning to play, and it's as much fun for Ellen as for the rat. Rats play very much the way kittens play, and they often roll on their backs and gently chew on a person's fingers. Some people might mistake this play for biting, but when a rat plays like this, they have no intention of hurting a person. In fact, it's very gentle, and Ellen thinks it's very cute too. Thanks so much for taking the time to view our video. If you discover an injured or orphaned wild animal, Ellen asks that you contact your local Fish and Wildlife Department for a list of wildlife rehabilitators in your area. Some veterinarians also have contact information for local rehabilitators. Join us again soon!